here's the best advice I can give you when it comes to firing. Okay, number one, if you have somebody that is truly a good person, but they're just underperforming, they're not getting it done, and you've had multiple conversations with them along the way about their performance, you're not getting through to them, when you fire them, you're doing them a favor because otherwise they would not realize that they're making the wrong decisions and not taking ownership of their actions. And hopefully you letting them go positively affects the trajectory of their career, okay? Now this only works if you also make sure that they are not blindsided. I think the worst thing you can do when you fire somebody is completely blindside them and catch them off guard. If you did the first thing right and you had the conversation along the way, the way and unfortunately it led to a severance, um, that takes care of the second thing too because they're not blindsided. And then it, this is just a me thing, but I always include a severance package in there even if it's something kind of small. And, and I tell people like, that's for me, that's not for you. Um, even though it helps you out, it's for me. I can sleep good at night knowing that you're sleeping good at night and your heat didn't get shut off. You know what I mean? So I always tell people like, if you know somebody should be let go, but you feel bad about it, give them a severance. It doesn't do away with the, the hurt that you feel as a person letting somebody go, because it sucks regardless. It does help a little bit.